Welcome back to my channel, my crystal kings and queens. So today's video is going to be a crystal haul video. I actually purchased these crystals a little before the New Year's. Um, a portion of them arrived, I'd say Christmas Eve, and then the other half I literally just got in the mail yesterday, I'd say. so. I am going to go ahead and show you all what I got here. I wanted to wait until all of them had arrived uh, before I actually did an entire crystal haul. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Hopefully not long, um, but it does kind of depend because of the type of crystals that they are. So let's go ahead and just begin. Um, the first crystal I wanted to show you was this cute little gold stone that I got in the crystal shop. So this would be the only exception to this entire video. This I actually just purchased in the crystal shop and if you may recollect correctly, you may remember that this little beauty was actually in my channel Dialingo video. So I just really, really love this so much. I keep it in my wallet because it's so tiny this is one of my cute and cozy stones, which is just so pretty. So yeah, this is the only exception to this entire vid. So gonna sit that aside and then moving on, I have this lovely beauty. This is Danbarite. Uh, this is my second piece of Danborite. I got my first piece at the uh, Crystal Rock Gem and Mineral Show last year. And my first piece was a little smaller than this, but this one I just could not pass up when I saw it. Um, I regretted not getting the second piece of Danborite that I saw at the gem show when I went um, a few days later, but you know it's all good i found this one and my god it looks so so yummy looks so good to eat like pink ice but and it's just like changing the tone of the vid but yeah so that's my little Danbarite. i really really love that um pretty great price on that actually the second crystal that i have uh-oh starting to knock some stuff over the second crystal that i have is this dendritic agate and I thought this was just really unique um, you know I love the really awesome fitting palm stones that are just really easy to run my finger down so I thought this would be a really cool crystal to have I mean and then it's designs they're pretty unique, but yeah, I just cannot, for whatever reason, stop the reflection of the halo. But you know, that's neither here nor there because it's obviously going to continue. Moving on, here I have my very first lapis lazuli sphere. I have never had a lapis lazuli sphere and it took me the absolute longest time to even purchase lapis lazuli um, the very first time I ended up buying it so now I'm just like whenever I see a really awesome piece I have to have it I just really want it so I saw this and I just thought it was really really gorgeous also um, I mentioned it before but I really love to just kind of hold the crystal in my palm in the center of my palm and just shake it around as such that's not really right but I'm trying not to like burn my hand on the flame <laughs> but yeah so I really enjoy doing that when I get those when I get spheres spheres that are at least big enough so of course that's really fun to play with and then I got a much bigger lapis lazuli sphere so this light like I need this to 
get it together. I need to act right for a for a and I need to stay focused and clear. So yeah, this um when I saw this, I thought it was already unique because of its solid blue color that it had on the top of it. And then around, you know, it has its normal lapis lazuli formation and pattern and whatnot. But I just thought that, oh my God, that just, <laughs> this huge blue center was just really different. And I've not seen anything like that on the sphere, but I've been looking for a much bigger sphere. Uh, when I initially got these two though, I was thinking maybe this would be a little bigger than it actually is um, so that I could use them um, the way I utilize my rose quartz spheres, which would be like this as a form of Chinese balls, I suppose. But that didn't really work out, though it's still not really, it's not that bad. I can actually still do it. It's just like, I kind of prefer this one to be a little bigger. But it's all good because still, as I was able to um, use the small sphere in the center of my palm, I also like to do that with this one. So it works either way. No real complaints. I'm okay with that. So um, you know what? I was going to show you the rest of my crystals, but because I know the type that I have, this is actually going to have to end up being a part two video. So I'm going to conclude it at this. You know what? Nope. One more. Just one more. You also saw this one in my channel dialingo video. And this is my smoky quartz. Um, tumbled or a version of a tumbled i like to call it because it's a more medium sized crystal a pocket prayer so um this is my little pocket prayer which i absolutely adore it's just god and it's my first um my first smoky quartz sized i don't i don't really know what to call it like i've never had any smoky quartz like this or in this shape so this is my first I'll just leave it at that so yeah I wanted to make sure you got a really good glimpse of that which I absolutely love I'm not gonna spend much more time on that because you can see it um, a little better with um, much better lighting in my channel dialingo video go check that out if you have not already really awesome just basically explaining my channels or the royal labyrinths channel dialect in lingo however you choose to refer to it as but thank you so much for watching i'm sorry that i kind of maybe led you all to thinking that we were going to continue the rest but you know how i can get and the video will go on and on and on so gonna definitely break this up into two parts stay tuned for part two which will be coming up i guess shortly after this so Thank you all so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Crystal kisses and royal blessings. Mwah.